Hey, happy Friday. So, just gonna finish off the week of uh, some good workouts. Um, I know we're you know busy adapting to all this, uh, so are we, but uh, I feel like this is a, a strong week and a good workout to, to finish us off, okay? So it's gonna be uh, five rounds. This is gonna be our warm up, or not, it's not our warm up, but our activation to get our heart rate elevated, okay? So it's gonna be high knees in place, 20 on each side, 20 butt kicks in place, a PVC or body weight RDL, and then a body weight squat. So the high knees in place, the focus on is getting our knees up to hip height. Like anyone can kind of go like this, but we want to get our knees to hip height. So it should look like this, okay? So we're getting our knees up, and we're running in place, pumping our arms, 40 total, 20 on each side. Same uh, rep scheme for the butt kicks. We're just bringing our knees up towards the butt, all right? In place, 40 total, 20 on each side. Now the PVC or body weight RDL, we have a PVC pipe. Um, it doesn't have to be a small one like this. It can be a little bit bigger one. It could be a broomstick. Um, and if you don't have something like that to put on your back, then just do a body weight, okay? So, if you have a PVC pipe on your back, slightly better than me, you're just sticking your butt back, keeping your chest up. Hips go back, my chest is parallel with the ground. Stand up, squeeze the butt. If you don't have the PVC pipe, same exact thing, soft better than me. I still feel this in my hand, and even though I don't have a weight in my hand or a band or anything, I still feel this. Stand up, squeeze the butt, okay? And then we know the squat. All the way down and all the way up, five quality squats. It's gonna be five rounds. So this is not gonna be something that's, that's uh, gonna you know, be something that you fly through. You know, the warm up should be quick, and then we'll go right into this. This will get us uh, sweat, okay? especially during the high knees and butt kicks, okay? Uh, after that, we're gonna move on. It's gonna be five sets of five reps. Now, what I'm gonna go through right now is going to be one rep, okay? I'm gonna go through one rep, but you're gonna do five reps in one set, okay? So it's a lot of moving. Five sets of five is, is, a, is a good challenge, all right? But it's something that is going to take a minute to do. So, and you can do this with body weight as well. Don't you don't feel like you have to use a weight? If the weight is too much, don't be afraid to use body weight. But you have your weight. You can hold it in the gap position. It says left lunge and then left lunge again. So that's a left forward lunge. So left foot forward, one down. Stand up to a left reverse lunge. Down, stand up. Get your feet set up for a squat. Squat down, stand up. Now you do a right forward lunge. Down, squats up. A right reverse lunge. Down, stand up. And then squat down. Okay, that is one rep. And you're gonna do five reps for five sets, okay? Now there's just one thing I wanna point out during the lunges. It's more so on the forward lunge. The forward lunge, a lot of people like to step and then lunge their whole body forward. Okay, we don't want that. We want to step forward, then go straight down, then go ahead and push yourself up. All right? Not lunging all the way. Make sense? So it's five sets of five. You're gonna want some rest in between. All right, so a one-to-one -one work to rest ratio. So maybe you have your, a stopwatch going or you, you got the stopwatch on your phone. Time yourself. It's not a race how fast you can get it done, but say it took you a minute and a half to do, then I want you to rest for at least a minute and a half, okay? Once we get done with that, we're gonna have a finisher. Now the finisher is a 2115 net. It's uh, four movements. The first one is the, the kettlebell RDL net. All right. 
So 21 reps of the kettlebell RDL, 21 reps of the kettlebell swing, kettlebell calf raise. So for the calf raise, you know, whatever weight you're holding, you can just hold it in your hand, and you do it in a goblet or down here, and then just one 1,002, back down. Come up on your toes, hold, one 1,002, then back down. We don't want to just kind of bounce up and down, okay? We want to hold that for a one 1,002. And then um, it's going to be a seated knee to chest. So um, you're going to be in a hollow position. All right, so you're in a hollow hold. All right, and then you just bring your knee to your chest, back up. Knee to your chest, back up. Make sure the shoulders are off the ground and your lower back stays on the ground the entire time. Okay, so we don't want to be up on our tailbone, balancing. Our lower back's on the ground, but the shoulder's not. You can tell I'm already shaking because you are in a hollow hold position, and then you're just going in and out. All right, so you do all that. RDL, swings, cap raises. Seated knee to chest, 21 reps, and then 15 reps, and then nine reps, okay? Happy Friday, hope you all have a good one. We'll see you next week.